Wanna And we never had a friend like me. Yeah. Thanks for that little intro. Got carried away there. What up my followers and subscribers? It's been a while since I reviewed Hello Dolly. It's been a few weeks. But I'm here to do another Broadway show review and I that I saw last night and it is this one. Aladdin. Really nice, huh? I had okay. Let me there's yeah. Okay, um before I talk about this review you're all probably wondering gonna ask How you've been rehearsing this show Susical for three weeks. How is it going? Well I'm gonna tell you guys this. I was really nervous and unsure but to be honest, it's going fine. I know how to do everything, so hope I can do more, do more shows there before I graduate. And yeah, rehearsals are fun. I mean, I'm enjoying it, having fun, singing the songs, and the choreography is great. We have amazing performers as well. But anyway, on to the review. This musical is that, and it's based on the Disney movie that came out in 1992. And as you all know, Disney is making a live action remake of this movie. And don't worry, I'll interview that too once I see it. I mean, hope it's better be good though. I did think the Beauty and the Beast one was good. And anyway, this show was really amazing and magical. I would say I... If you recall, back in Disneyland, they did do a Aladdin musical at the, I don't know how you say it, but it's the theater where, the Hyperion Theater, right, that's it, the Hyperion Theater, I think, is where the Aladdin musical used to be at, but now it's frozen, and this show was way different from that and the movie, like, yeah, I loved all the scenery and the comedy and how all the costumes were, I mean, when I looked at Jafar, I didn't think he looked a little scary, but I thought it was cool. I thought his outfit was great. It's supposed to be how he looks in the movie, then they're doing their job. And there are a couple changes they made. I, I'm sure some of you have seen the show, but Iago is not a bird in this. He is now a human who ser still serves as Jafar's assistant and you all know in the anime movie he has a monkey friend named Abu and Abu is not in the show at all but instead he has three sidekick friends named Kazim, Omar, and Babcat. They were great characters I mean they were good they acted like best friends which they were And the carpet didn't have a lot of stage time. Of course, as anyone used to watch the Aladdin musical in Disneyland, the carpet was an acrobat dressed as a carpet. And yeah, that's been cut, but they still had the magic carpet ride for a whole new world. It was amazing, by the way. Because you all know it in the musical in California, Adventures at Disneyland that they used to do, they would have doubles on the magic carpet and fly over the whole auditorium over the audience but in this one they don't they fly all around the stage which looks pretty cool and yeah i was like oh man that looks fun and anyway i did get to meet the cast afterwards and if you guys look at my other videos i was able to interview two people I was able to meet, interview Jonathan Weir, who was Jafar. He was amazing. He sounded a lot like Jonathan Freeman, who voiced Jafar in the animated movie and is playing the role again in the Broadway company. And I also interviewed Annie Wallace. She was on as Princess Jasmine tonight, because look, in my program, I got th we all got this. Even though she was an understudy, I thought she was amazing. 
she was sweet too after seeing her and and you all this if you watch this i told you about my youtube channel so hello i'm really glad i was able to talk to you thanks for making time to talk to me and don't worry about i'm gonna see cat i did say i'm gonna see cats in tucson and if i ever see your friend lexi platt at the stage door i'll make sure i tell her hello for you and the genie ah uh, he was we had a standby on he was played by C. Dawson, and he was amazing. He improvised and joked around, made everybody laugh. He kept coming up with funny jokes and other improvised stuff, though. I can't wait to see how Will Smith will do it in the live-action remake. Hope he'll do good, but nobody can ever replace Robin Williams as the genie. Hope you're proud of the work, Robin. You are missed. But anyway, yeah, the show's really great. I would highly recommend it to any Disney fans and people who love Atlanta. And thank you guys for liking this, for watching this review, and I'm going to have a great day and life. Bye.